Welcome to Earthside and this is weekly readings for um, the Taurus, Virgo and Capricorns. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful um, um, likes and share and the support. Thank you guys. <laughs> um, the quarter readings are out and remember um, to um, subscribe and share these readings. As you subscribe and share these readings, you are going to be finding out um when it's a good times to do business when is not this week is a long-term stability week so this week is a good time to make changes in business this week is going to be a positive week for you earth signs there is all positive information positive situations that is going to be transpiring in your world some of you are going to be healing some karmas. We can see that. And I see you are coming in this week balancing out some really deceptive um, situation that was transpiring. So I see you're bringing back balance. So you begin the week by um, beginning the week with balance. Now, balance is that taking everyone's input into consideration, merging um, viewpoints to create a um a better um, solution take your time there is no need to rush so what you um, guys are doing is basically um, ending some jealousy that was coming at you because so, the last week was not that good and what you earth sign or doing in this week is ending some jealousy that was coming at you some really deceptive play that was played against you you are bringing a balance to this you're saying no no more um you're standing up and saying to the universe no no more and i see the energy of balance is coming in some of you are going to be finding out that a very deceptive person um has done you some deceptiveness when it comes on to business and work and you're going to be finding this hurt and i see that some of you are going to be facing this person and letting this person know that uh, um i don't accept um this um deceptive uh, um way of doing business i don't accept uh, um this form of uh, um business situation that is transparent so no i'm not accepting this I decide that I won't no longer accept um, your ill treatment and uh, um, way of uh, um, behaving when it comes on to business or it comes on to myself. So some of you could be standing up to your boss. I think some of you are just going to be face your fear, standing up to your boss and let your boss know that um, this situation or whatever that has been transpiring is not healthy for you. You're going to be making a decision not to access and not to accept whatever has been thrown out at you and disrespect you in whatever way. I see you all are going to be standing your grounds, especially in the beginning of the week. You're going to be bringing back peace to a situation that is uh, transpired. You are going to be um, making sure that uh, um, you bring back uh, peace in your world, okay? Whether or not the other person wants peace in their world, I see that you um, hurt some people. It's going to be thinking, hey, um, I am going to be taking back my reign and I'm going to be bringing back peace in my world. So whatever the issue and the situation is, whatever that has been happening and transpiring, I see you're definitely going to be standing your grounds and letting people know um, you have walked over me long enough and I will no longer um, appreciate and I no longer appreciate uh, what you have done. So it could be someone on the work floor who has been speaking down at you, speaking against you, trying to make you look stupid, trying to make you look incompetent to what you're doing. And you're going to be saying no more. I will accept this no more. And I think that you all have the right um, basically to do this because I think that people um, do not know how far to go people will try and walk over you and I see that this is something that you're going to be bringing back and saying no it's as if you're saying no I will no longer um, access and no longer accept this sort of form of uh, behaving um, where people can just um, speak to me or create whatever issues 
and that I have to resolve okay so this is what is coming up and with that what you're going to be seeing is that you're bringing peace and resolving a situation okay and as you bring peace and resolve a situation I see transition is going to be happening with this negative energy so there is going to be transition that is happening with this negative energy and I see um, unexpected luck and a resolution to a karmatic situation or a problem that has been going on is going to come to an end so however this is and whatever is transpiring uh, long-term stability whatever you start in this week is going to bring long-term stability and as we look at the diamond shape in this week it is peace peace is coming in to a situation on the workflow peace is coming in um to a situation where there was a whole lot of conflicts balance is being brought in where people are um communicating and bringing long-term stability in order to bring and create an ill a karmatic situation between you and others because what you have to understand is that um work when you are at work it is that you're cleaning karmas with the people at your work okay so when you have issues and problems with people on the work floor it is because you're cleaning karmas between you and them karmas that has transpired in lifetime and lifetime you all come back at this um, timeline in order to create balance in your world and this is what is coming up and transpiring and this is what you're realizing that you are now choosing choosing um, to put an issue to an end okay so this could be someone who were blocking your business someone who were accessing your information someone who were using your information in order to acquire um, their um, using your information in order um, to acquire um, materialistic wealth in their world and I see you're saying no you're saying no and you're saying no I will not accept this this is um, this is not what I ever wanted in my life this is not what I've decided um, to share with anyone in my life so um, you are basically looking at your colleagues your co-workers and you're bringing back balance now balance is here twice in um this um, um week because there was some false play that was that happened in june in june there was some real false play that has happened in june and what is now happening and transpiring is that you're saying no more and you're making this shift so in the beginning of the week you're bringing peace to an issue and a situation Peace is coming in. There is a lot of meetings, so expect to have a lot of meeting, a lot of discussion. There could be, um, um, there could be definitely um, um, performance review. Um, there could be observation review. There could be a new planning that uh, um, you guys are in charge of creating some um, new plan, some new process that needs to be implemented. Um, is going to be coming in um so this is wonderful so however this is coming up and this is transpiring yes there is going to be some form of new plan that is being implemented here okay there is a form of new plan that has been implemented here and the problem is that you're going to be bringing out this plan in a very very positive way so however you are seeing this and however it is coming up, um, the beginning of the week is going to be a lot of meetings, a lot of com communication, a lot of things that is happening. But as you come to the middle of the week, you're going to be bringing that balance to whatever that was happening and whatever that was transpiring around you. And this is going to be good because you're going to be taking back your powers because someone has been misusing your powers um, someone has been um, walking over um, your um, your um, potential, your um, whatever is transpiring. This person 
um, that you're or the situation that you're trying to give balance to is that someone has misused their powers in order to create some form of a wealth for themselves. Okay, so whatever way you're looking at it, you're realizing that you're bringing balance back to your materialistic world and you're going to be victoriously successful in doing this because I see you're going to be standing your grounds and speaking up and saying, I will not accept this because if you notice peace, bring balance and that is going to bring a lock. Changes bring balance and it's going to bring a solution to whatever the issue and the situation that you have been dealing with. A lot of you um, people were manipulating um, some situation in your life. Um, a whole lot of you people was just manipulating you manipulating situations in your life and this is where i see you stand up and you said no no more no more um this is not happening anymore no one is going to be having any access and power over my business or over me on the work floor we're all here we need to work as a team and i see you're going to be taking back the reign and becoming the leader that you are and you are going to be taking back um, whatever that has been happening and transpiring, you're going to be telling people how far they can go and you're going to be um, relinquishing and taking back that empowerment, empowering yourself and making the changes that you want to have in your life, in a career, in a business and move forward. So as you look at the top of the reading, what we see is that peace comes in and a resolution okay so peace um peace you're balancing out a situation there could have been meetings that uh, um that you had um, um to collaborate with other people work with other people in order to resolve a situation so meetings comes in where um i see a whole lot of communication where you realize that you're balancing out um a situation um, in order to create uh, some sort of uh, um, happiness in your work world and in your business world, okay? So what we see is that uh, because of communication, um, you end a really deceptive play that was going on. There was some horrible pe um, people and situation that has created some, um, because of jealousy, jealousy, um, the snake is jealousy, okay? And it could have created by another person, whether man or woman, try to invade your career, invade your world, invade your business. And it was all because of jealousy. And I see whatever this is with this conversation, you are putting a stop to this and you're saying no, no more. Whatever it is, you're really putting a stop to this. And I see that with you communicating, whatever communication was done, the end of June coming in to July, whatever the communication is, whatever um, the communication is or was uh, that has happened and has transpired, you are definitely, definitely make a point. And I see that people are looking at uh, whatever the communication is, whether it was documented or um, they are really looking at um, the the the. Um, the situation in a um, um, looking at the situation in another eye and realizing there was some sort of a false play that has transpired. There's definitely some false play that has transpired, and with collaborating with others and um, going through documentation and, and, and realizing what has transpired, they're going to be realized that there was a huge form of jealousy that was played against some of you a huge deceptive play whether it's at the work floor whether it was other people or it was people um that you do business with uh, that they could have uh, been the one that has uh, made some deceptive change um and uh, now they're going to be correcting uh, that situation um, and moving forward. So um, this is a very, very good. Um, whatever, um, if you have a performance review, um, if you were um, having a business meeting, if you were solicitating for a job, 
however that is going in the beginning of the week at the end of the week you're going to be receiving some real good positive news that is going to be coming in for you so this is um absolutely wonderful however this is transpiring uh, this is about changes coming in your world this is about you overcome some horrible jealousy um bringing balance to some horrible jealousy and horrible deceptiveness that has transpired um the months before and you are basically bringing back uh, balance in your world and i see you're going to be successfully doing that uh, because people is going to be taking in consideration whatever you bring to the table whatever your collabor however you're collaborating with others they're going to be taking this in consideration and really bringing um back uh, um balance in your world i see some of you were dealing with some issues and i see with the communication i see long-term stability is going to be brought back to you and a resolution is going to be um taking place and um creating in your world you can see this as a this was very much karma this was a huge karmatic situation that you're going to be overcoming and um how you're overcoming this is because of some communication that you stand your grounds and said to here and no further. This is how the situation is. This is how it went down. And you are going to be definitely seeing that because you stood your ground, you're going to be bringing back balance in your world. Okay. You're definitely bringing back balance in your world and you're making changes, bringing back your long-term stability and a resolution is going to be coming up with this karmatic situation. At the end of the day, you or um, luck is on your side. So whatever the issue and the situation is that has transpired in the past, I see you're really standing your grounds and saying no, um, no more, no more. And you're making a transition and you're going to be winning and overcoming this transition whatever this situation is it was it was karma that you were clearing up against uh, um people um whether it's your clients or whether it was random uh, co-workers you were definitely clearing up this karma so heart sign people um i see that it's going to be good um, please remember to go check out the quartal reading to find out who you were, who you are dealing with in this week, because the quartal reading is going to give you more. Um, the extended um, for the quartals will be out uh, soon. So um, same to you guys. Have a wonderful week. Namaste.